Yo, 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 yo. What's good with it, man? Um, it's the homie Mac. Music art, culture, knowledge. Um, reporting live from the Dogon, Dogon, Dogon. Each one, teach one. Peace and love, peace and love. Um, thumbs up, give me the likes. Thumbs up, give me the likes. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, 82 Kings. Um, real quick, real quick. Um, this is a session of Mac Minutes. Mac Minutes. Um, this will be centered around one of the greatest poetic, sonic, uh, aesthetic albums ever in hip hop. And I don't even want to just say hip hop. I want to say music in general. Um, this will be entitled An Ode to Only Built for Cuban Links. Only Built for Cuban Links. Um, it was produced by none other than Raekwon. Uh, it's Raekwon. I mean, no, produced by. I'm tripping. Produced by none other than the RZA. Produced by none other than the RZA. Um, bars by Raekwon and uh, Ghostface Killer and uh, other. Um, constituents within the Wu-Tang, La Familia. Um, this album came out August 1st, 1995. Uh, let me give y'all some, some stats real quick. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Came out in, uh, again August 1st, 1995. Uh, the singles off this album were Heaven and Hell, Criminology, Ice Cream, and Rainy Days. Uh, I remember coming up as a shorty, seeing all those, seeing all those videos on uh, on Rap City, The Box, uh, Yo MTV Raps. It was dope. It was dope. It was dope. Um, I think what makes this album so dope is artistically how genuine it is. Like the bars, the way the bars were crafted, the wordplay, um, it it essentially um, created a a whole subgenre. Then it created a whole subgenre within hip hop. Uh, when you listen to this album, it feels like a, a movie. Um, from the uh, but before I go there, why it feels like a movie. Um, that subgenre essentially was mafioso rap. A lot of that was that was you know only built for Cuban links was is the progenitor to mafioso rap. Um, the the Pusha T's, um, even but push it from Pusha T to uh, Wu Syndicate to Griselda, Westside Gun, Conway, Benny the Butcher. Uh, that, and, and even the Black Soprano family, it's all, which is pretty, pretty much an offshoot of Griselda, it's all heavily influenced by the aesthetic that is Only Built for Cuban Links. Um, the album was actually called Only Built for Cuban Links. Uh, uh, wait, hold up. I found something somewhere <clears throat> that said that the album initially, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me pull it up, let me pull it up. Initially, the album was going to be called Only Built for Cuban Links Real Niggas. <laughs> only, built, only, only Built for Cuban Links Real Niggas. Uh, so, Loud Records, the whole um, record label staff over there again at, at Loud Records did not think that would be a good idea to call it only built for Cuban links, only only built for real niggas. Or only built for Cuban links real niggas. Um it makes sense, especially back in the nineties. Things are not as liberally const uh liberally constructed as they are now. Um that would that would have uh, caused a lot of controversy. Um but Raekwon said he called it only built for Cuban links because it reminded him about it he wanted to pretty much have a, you know, it put him in the mind frame of selling dope on the street. 
you know, you got the yellow tops, the blue tops, the green tops when you selling when you selling when you selling the dope. And essentially, you want to sell your product. You you want the title of your product to be differentiated or delineated from all the other products on the street. So I know, like uh, you know, I'm from Detroit. Uh, YBI Young Boys Incorporated. They were a crew, and they would uh, call their dope Hoochie Khan, or they would call it uh, Firecracker, or they would call it uh, P Funk. You just want to give a title that just again differentiates, delineates your product from everybody else. So the product was only built for Cuban links. Um, yeah, that that title just sticks out. What does that even mean? Only built for Cuban links. Uh, Cuban links are, are known to be the toughest chain, the roughest chain. That they're, they're not easy to break. Um, I've heard some people say that this album really wasn't a solo album. It really was a Ghostface and Raekwon collaborative project, and you can say that because Raekwon and Ghost are pretty much a Ghost. I mean, it's a Raekwon album in title, but uh, Ghostface is on dang near every track, pretty much. Um, the from the intro to the end of this whole project, uh, what not what Knowledge God to um, North Star, I believe it's called North Star, if my memory serves me correctly, like. Again, it flows like an album, like a, well, it is an album, but it flow, it flows like, again, it's like cinema. It's real cinematic. Uh, it's like a, it's like a movie for your ears. Um, the thing that I really liked about this album was the bars. <laughs> the, you know, the bars and the production. Um, like. I think the biggest thing, like this album has even influenced me as a writer. Um, oh yeah, I gotta point out, I opened up for Raekwon at South by Southwest uh, back in 2016. It was like, yeah, 2016. So uh, 2016 to 2017, Mac Warbucks. Yeah, homie. Um, but yeah, uh, the rap Maya Lansky Crash Your Fantasy. <laughs> um, Champagne thoughts with ghosts. I max the most shotguns through the nose. Fuck rap. Hip hop for me on top. Low wears. Tommy like the witty unpredictable. Ah, let me stop. <laughs> um, this this the the wordplay, the the juxtaposition of the words that he would put together. Um, he he created a whole canvas. Like not not well, you no. Know, he painted a world on a canvas that was Staten Island. Uh, mafioso rap, but it still had the five percent influence. Uh, you, you hear him talk about 120 uh, lessons, uh, 120 lessons, uh, the whole 5% vernacular is ubiquitous throughout, throughout this whole album. Uh, I think, you know, if if somehow, you know, God forbid, but if, if uh, the world just ceased the spinning and everything stopped, the lights cut out, and a new species, whatever, came on Earth, Later, years later, um, this would be an album that I, that I hope they would discover somehow. Like in, when they go through the rubbish, uh, only built for Cuban links is a, it, it speaks to uh, um, it speaks to a, it, 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 it's essentially a time capsule. It, it this project is a time capsule. It's something that will resonate throughout time. Um, the production, uh, RZA did the, did the sole production on this. The RZA, uh, I, remember, I remember watching an interview with the RZA and he would say how people would have to, people within the Wu-Tang camp, they would have to battle each other for beats. So this lets me know, for, for Raekwon to get these, for Raekwon to get these, these, uh, these beats from the RZA, he was beasting. He was beating everybody in the lyrical, in the the lyrical wizardry, war, uh, wordplay, warfare, whatever. He was he was killing everybody. Um, Raekwon has always been a fly dude. The way he carries himself, his dress, polo down, um, Gucci, um, Fendi, Prada. <laughs> uh, <coughs> you know the, the the cocaine raps, all that. Like it's just Raekwon. He gives off like a real. He's real chill. Godfather type vibe, and it's like Ghost is more aggressive, you know, more in your face, and you and you know, and then years later with that whole Hulu the Hulu thing where um 
I can't remember the name of it, but it was a Hulu special. Um, and it just pretty much told the whole backstory of Wu Tang Clan. And you find out that Ray, that Ray and Ghost were actually beefing with each other. But it's it's interesting because they actually they complement one another so well. Um, I remember Rizzo saying how they would often laugh. Uh, Ray and Ghost would actually laugh at the same time and finish each other's sentences sometimes. Like they just the there was a lot of secrecy between them between those two those two brothers. Um, again, back to the production. Um, Rizzo did his thing uh, with the with the soulful vocal loops um, on the song. Um, what's that song on there? Uh, Can it be also simple part two? Can it be Can it be two? Can it be also simple too? Um, they said he actually took a, a vocal loop from from Bean Crosby <laughs> and put it on that track. Um, uh, one of my favorite songs on there is uh, Glaciers of Ice and. Um, Rayquan, I'm not no. Rizzo said he wanted the beat to sound like a a gunfire symphony. Like who thinks like that? Who says that? <laughs> but that that whole uh, the production from the soul samples, the, the the vocal loops, the drums, the uh, the the melodies. Like this this album is timeless. Like you can, there are no whack beats on this whole project. None. From the intro. The intro starts off on some mafioso stuff. Uh, the, the the intro starts off; it gives you a narrative. Again, the whole cinematic vibe. Um, it, like this album really is without flaw. Um, the, I guess the only thing I would say I'm not solely I'm not I'm not sure if it's fair to call this a solo album again because Ghost. This is like the Ghost and Ray project. Um, but it's, it doesn't take away from the genius of this project. This project is dope. It again, timeless material. Uh, this is an ode to only build for Cuban links. Session of Mac Minutes. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you are uh, have not heard this album, Only Built for Cuban Links, you need to go on all the streaming sites, YouTube, and uh, check it out. Only Built for Cuban Links is, is a is a masterpiece. It's it's a it's very artful. Um, yeah, and people know people. I mean, like it's not. It's not. It, it's a piece of art that I'm not convinced can ever be duplicated. That's why I was surprised that Raekwon actually made Only Built for Cuban Links too. But I will say this: um, this uh, Only Built for Cuban Links two was dope. Um, one of the initial uh, titles for this album, well, one of the one of the nicknames or derivative derivative titles was uh, the Purple Tape. It was called the purple tape because it came in like purple packaging, but again, I think that goes to the whole dope aesthetic. How you wanted, it, how Ray wanted it to be set apart. Yeah, the purple tape. Uh, album is classic without flaw. I don't see any flaws in it. Um, if you want to be petty again, you could say that oh, well, it's not really a solo project, you know. Uh, Ghost is on, on on every track, but I mean, even when Ghost released his solo project, Iron Man, uh, Raekwon is all through that. All through that, all through there, all on it. Um, but yeah, this is a. Uh, I be I be about to sign off, and just more stuff comes to my head. But no, this uh, project again is a uh, is a stalwart in hip hop culture. It's uh, indelible. Um, check it out. Only built for Cuban links. An ode to only built for Cuban links. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Eighty two kings. Eighty two kings. I'm tripping. Eighty two kings. Each one teach one. Each one teach one. Peace and love. Uh, signing out from the Dogon, man. Yeah, check out the music in the description box. Uh, but anyway, signing out. Each one teach one. Each one teach one. Peace and love. I'm out.